everyone. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing great. A few uh, things here before we get started. Everything you need to know is in the description box. Uh, there will be an extended reading link below. If this reading resonates with you, you can check it out. I do treat it like a personal reading, and I look at the next three weeks energy going forward from this reading. The last thing I'll mention is I am giving away one free personal reading each month. If you'd like to enter, you just need to be a subscriber, like the video, and leave a comment, and I will announce the winner the first week of every month. So with that, let's get started. All right, Capricorn, let's pull your cards. What's the energy here for Capricorn? What does Capricorn need to know? What does Capricorn need to know? Around love. What can you show Capricorn? Got Leo energy there. All right, so Capricorn, what's going on here? All right, I feel like I feel like things were really good between you and someone. I feel here in the past, I feel like you saw potential here is the energy that I see. Um, I feel like some of you may have recently become single because we got this Queen of Wands energy uh, in the center here. Now, it could just be right that uh, something significant happened between you and someone, and now you're feeling more passionate about life. Maybe you're pursuing other things in your life that make you happy. We're going to clarify. So I'm going to start with this Sun card. We're going to clarify the Sun card first. Oh, and then we'll go to that Queen of Wands. I see a tower here, so we're going to see what that's all about. But the good thing is, is I see a good outcome in your situation. So let's see why the Sun card is here, please. All right. Bottom of the deck here, you have the Five of Wands. All right. So I feel Capricorn, there is somebody here showing up. In your past here with the Sun card. This was somebody I feel like you felt uh, very happy with. I feel like this is somebody that you saw potential. Uh, maybe that person who gave you butterflies. But with this Five of Wands, I feel like you and this person were not on the same page. Because you have here the Wheel of Fortune, you have the Lovers, and you have the Knight of Wands, all right? Something changed, I feel, in this connection, Capricorn, between you and someone. I feel like this is somebody who wasn't very consistent. They weren't always there for you. Uh, somebody, I feel, who uh, may have kept things casual, wasn't on the same page as you. Um, but I also feel here too with this lover's card, um, you do have the three of swords on the bottom of the deck. I do feel there's an energy here for some of you that there could have been some sort of betrayal or a third party situation that went on here. All right. That definitely, uh, change things may have made you, um, make some decisions about this connection in the past, all right? I'm going to say here, though, I did see the Three of Swords and I see the Ace of Cups here. So I feel like potentially there could be a new love, especially if you are single. Um, I feel there could be a new love. This also can be a new start in love, right, with um, a particular person. But let's clarify this Queen of Wands. Now we have strong Gemini energy. We have strong Leo energy as well. All right. So we have the Knight of Swords. We have the Chariot, strong Cancerian. And we have the Fool card. Oh my gosh, Capricorn. And look at this. Ten of Pentacles. I feel like some of you may be very focused on money and career. So some of you may just, like I said, in pursuit of other things in your life right now, not necessarily love. 
Um, or some of you are, you know, single and ready to meet someone. Now, I'm going to say here you have uh, the Knight of Swords, you have the Chariot, and you have the Fool card. I see new beginnings for you. I see like an enthusiasm, right? I see a passion here with this Queen of Wands as well. So as I said, I feel like um, you may be, may be making the decision to focus your attention on other things. I feel like money and career too is a big thing here. And I feel like Capricorn, um, if you keep yourself focused on your goals, you've got the Ten of Pentacles there. So I do feel that you're headed in the right direction. So if you're deciding here to leave uh, a situation behind or um, to change your focus and your attention on someone that was not always there for you is the energy that I get. I feel like there is some, gonna be some good results here. Some of you I feel too have a calling, calling to do something. It could be around your career, could be around life purpose or something that you're very passionate about. So really, really nice energy. I'm gonna say upcoming though, there's some sort of decision here you're gonna have to make. Now it could be around this situation moving forward. Uh, if you move forward, I feel wherever you're at, I feel like it's going to be good for you. But let's clarify. Remember, we have this tower. And I'm going to give you a little glimpse here in your outcome. You have the Ten of Cups, which is really nice. We're going to clarify. We're going to see what that is. But let's clarify this tower card here. Why is the tower card here, please? Why is the tower card here, please? Okay, we have the Eight of Pentacles, we have the Eight of Cups, two Eights there, and we have the King of Pentacles, and we have here the Page of Swords. All right, really what I get from this energy, Capricorn, uh, I feel like there was a love situation that you were very happy with in the past, but something changed, and I feel like what changed there was that the person that you were dealing with it feels like this person wasn't taking things seriously or they weren't taking things to the next level. Now, this could just be right for some, could be just somebody that you know, recent that you met and maybe this was just kind of, you know, a fling energy or, you know, someone who was not someone looking for more than something casual. It's going to be different for all of you. But I feel with the tower, it wasn't stable. It wasn't stable. Some of you, there could have been some sort of betrayal or breakup here. You have the Eight of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, and you have the King of Pentacles. I see your attention and your focus as a result of this situation, whatever happened, because it does feel like maybe there was something surprising, could even be shocking, um, but something happened here, and I feel like even there could be some drama around it too um, for some of you. you. I feel with this Eight of Cups, your focus now, I feel, is to explore other things in your life that make you happy. And I really feel with this King of Pentacles, remember we had the Ten of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. Some of you are just more focused on your money and career. You're still open, I feel, here to love. But I feel like there's a big focus um, on money and career. Now, I'm also going to say here, too, I see you exploring other opportunities because you want something solid. You want a good foundation here. And this tower energy is showing me that um, someone that you were dealing with, they just, it wasn't stable, right? Now, remember below the Three of Swords, you have the Ace of Cups. So I feel like there's something upcoming here that you're going to be really happy with. Let's see why the Two of Swords is here. Why is the Two of Swords here, please? Why is the Two of Swords here, please? All right, we've got the Ace of Pentacles. We have the King of Swords. And we have the Emperor, Strong Aries Energy. And bottom of the deck here, we have the Hermit. All right. I almost feel like um, some of you may have already made the decision, right, to move on from a situation um, or, you know, change your focus on what you want. Uh, but I feel like also there's an energy here of you kind of not too sure if you're making the right decision. That's what I'm getting here with this uh 
two of swords. Now, we have Aries energy here. We also have Virgo. We have the Hermit. We have the Moon here, too. And we have the three of wands. So I get Capricorn. We got Pisces, Cancerian energy. We have all the energies on the board, but I, I mentioned the strong ones. I see you really looking towards the future. And I feel like you're questioning either making a decision or questioning the decision that you think you're going to make or you made. Okay. There's definitely a little bit of uh, doubt, maybe feeling um you can't completely make a decision because you don't have all the answers, right? But I see you looking ahead towards the future, trying to figure things out, setting the intention, exploring the possibilities here in your situation. Now, you have the Ace of Pentacles, you have the King of Swords, and you have the Emperor. I feel um, Capricorn... As I said, I, f I get a really strong energy here of maybe you deciding here to just put your focus on money and career, maybe be single for a while or pursue uh, something else, put your attention towards something else. But I also see communication here. I see communication between you and someone and maybe you trying to get some clarity around um, you know, is this something that is stable for the long term? Now, it could be somebody new or it can be this person. So I'm going to ask who this person is and then we're going to go to that Ten of Cups energy. We want to see what that is. All right. So who is this person that Cap Capricorn is going to be communicating? I'm going to say for some of you, you may be deciding here to start your own business here, an entrepreneur energy with that emperor, I'm going to say, but... Who is this person that Capricorn is talking to? Who is this person that Capricorn is talking to in the near future? Okay. You got the Five of Swords here as well. I actually don't feel like it's this past person here. I don't feel like this is communication from this past person. I feel like this is more about you making a decision, you uh, making a very informed decision, you're in control here, you're wanting stability here in your future. Now, whether that's because you're focusing on your money and your career, or whether you know, you're know you moving on from an unstable situation, and you want something more stable for your future. Now you have the Four of Swords, you have the World, and you have the Five of Pentacles. <coughs> Excuse me. You have strong Aquarius, strong Taurus, Scorpio, and Leo energy here with that World card. Yeah, the decision here, I feel, Capricorn, you're trying to gain clarity around a situation where you're feeling lack. You're not feeling like you're getting what you need. And you want change. And this is what I see here. You making a decision around trying to get your clarity here. You got the Five of Swords and you have the Two of Cups. The hard thing is I feel here, Capricorn, you're still thinking about a particular person. <coughs> Excuse me, Capricorn. Allergies, allergies. Uh, but Five of Swords, Two of Cups, and Nine of Swords. I feel like that this person, it's a really hard decision for you to make. Um, in like I said, some of you may have already made a decision, but these are this is for the people that I feel like you still think about it. You still think about it. You question it, um, and so I feel like some of you are having a hard time really moving on from. Um, you know, it could just be moving on from the betrayal of a situation or moving on from a particular person who just was never able to give you what you needed or maybe even commitment. So let's clarify this Ten of Cups because I feel like there's something good happening here in your outcome position. We're going to pull some Romance Angel cards after this, but why is the Ten of Cups here, please? Why is the Ten of Cups here? Wow, you got the Ten of Cups here as well. Okay, and you have the Magician on the bottom of the deck. That's below the Magician, all right? You have the Four of Pentacles here. 
So I feel uh, Capricorn, there's an energy, like I said, I feel like you're taking a more practical approach to this situation. I, I see you uh, gaining more clarity here about what you want, what you desire, what you're focusing your energy on, and th that's where you're making the decisions. And I feel like, you, you know, you're really holding back um, and I see here two upcoming. I see somebody new with this Page of Cups energy coming into your world. I see a new romance. Uh, you have the Knight of Cups, you have the Two of Wands, and you have the Ten of Cups. Okay, so I feel here too that's part of the decision. There's somebody else coming into your life. Now, this could be somebody already around you. I do pick up a friend energy, and I also pick up. Uh, a younger energy right there it could be uh, younger than you or maybe they're just very young looking or have a very youthful personality but I see happiness here with somebody I see uh, there's a new path that is going to be available to you if you want it I'm going to ask now how will you know this person I don't think I'm going to take it to the extended Capricorn but um, because I do feel right the, the if you're still thinking about this other person, their energy is really showing, you know, basically uh, casual energy, not someone looking for a commitment. So let's see how will Capricorn meet this person or know who this new person coming into their life uh, is. Okay, let's get one more. Oh boy. <laughs> All right, look at that. Mom of the deck here, you have the two of cups. So I feel like you're gonna, this person's gonna come into your world. I feel like really uh, this person hasn't manifested yet because I feel like if you if you stay in this indecisive energy, and you continually think about a past situation, whether it's just that, you know, you're you're having a hard time letting go of hurt or betrayal from a particular person, or you're thinking about this particular person. I feel uh, the way to change the energy here, Capricorn, is you really need to make the decision to take a new path here. And the new path, right? A new path in love because I see with the Knight of Cups and the Ten of Cups, I feel like when you make the decision to take a new path here and then you have the Ten of Cups here again, I feel there is a very happy uh, connection, relationship, romance coming in for you. Because when I ask that question around how will you know this person, I don't feel like it's manifested yet because you got the three of wands and you have the nine of pentacles. And that's why we have it up here in the upcoming cards here with the ace of cups. The universe wants to bring you new love, but it's saying here with this nine of pentacles and the three of wands, you have to envision what you want, right? So you have to make that decision to set the intention to attract it into your life. But I also get a very independent energy here with the Nine of Pentacles. So you may be single a little bit longer and, um, you know, explore your opportunities. Putting yourself out there too with that Three of Wands is key here. You have here the Nine of Wands and you have the Four of Pentacles because right now your energy, I feel, is held back, um, probably a bit guarded here is what I'm seeing as well. So I feel like uh, Spirit is saying here, you got to focus, right? If you're already focused on other things in your life, and your attention is to other things and you kind of envision what you want, right? Trying to manifest what you want. I feel you got a new soulmate coming in. Somebody I feel here, you're going to have a very strong connection. So Capricorn, let's see what the romance angels have to say. Okay, passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Some of you I feel here are pursuing something you're very passionate about, right? It is safe for you to love. I was just talking about that. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. I feel like you're really guarded right now, Capricorn. And you have playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. I feel like um, with this message here, I feel like you need to go out and have fun, right? And 
you know, exude that energy, right? That you can enjoy life being single or, you know, not being with somebody. And that's really how you're going to manifest it. And look what you have on the bottom of the deck. You have true love. This is a romance of a lifetime. So I feel like you're going to manifest your true love here, Capricorn. But I feel like there's a little bit of time here of you focusing on other things in your life and enjoying life without somebody in your life and you're going to manifest your true love here so capricorn i hope this reading helped you i hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening and i'm sending you angel love